The third and final step in this lesson is to actually post the slideshow to Moodle using the slideshow module that is built into Moodle. It's actually a very easy step that starts with turning editing on. I already have editing turned on, which you can notice by the fact that all my editing icons are visible. So I'm just gonna post it in this uh, unit three the, um, block. You click on add an activity and they're, alphabeti they're alphabetical and I'm gonna choose slideshow. And I'm going to need to give my slideshow a name. So I'm going to call it Cute Pictures. And then I'm just going to indicate that that is a sample slideshow. So I'm going to type that in there. And then this is where you simply need to choose the folder in your file directory that stores those images. And if you have every folder that's in there will show up in this drop down menu. So mine was called Cute Photos. And I could put a caption. For each of the photos, I'm not going to do that th this time. There are thumbnails, meaning small versions of each photo. I'm going to put them below the um, image. I, um, I don't know what that means. I'm going to center it. And uh, the HTML editor lets you format the text if you add captions. That, that sounds okay for me. Um, slideshow on black, I'm going to leave the way in its default setting. And I'm not going to do any autoplay of the slideshow. And then I'm going to click visible means can you can do you want to make it um, so that students can see it right away. I click save changes. And you can see that I have a bunch of thumbnails down below and I can click through my little slideshow. It's actually pretty nice. And indeed, I have some cute pictures. That's it.